Hi Libra, this uh, reading is for you for October 2nd to October 8th, 2017. This is a weekly love reading. We will see what happens. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And this is for the sign of Libra. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in. Basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords. Okay, that is the end. That's the completion. That is the completion of something that, you know, has caused a lot of disappointment in your life. Okay, it feels like you've had some kind of loss and it's probably, it was probably a big one. It could have something to do with love, all right? Now this is for Libra, and I think that maybe, I mean, here we have some obsession, okay? That looks like there was some obsession um, with love, okay? That's concerning love, and it looks like things um, probably didn't turn out the way you had hoped. I'm not sure, but this is the end. It's the over. It's caused you a lot of stress. It's caused you a lot of worry and anguish and despair. Um... Perhaps you haven't received the communication that you were expecting or, um, you know, there hasn't been, uh, somebody hasn't put in the effort that you hoped for because I see that there has been a lot of conflict, okay? There's just been, it's been very, um, there's been a lot of disagreements, okay? Um, but I think that uh, the time has come for you to make a decision, all right? This, this is the sign of Libra, and the time has come to make a decision. In this week, you may finally decide to um, do something uh, else because I see that we have some new growth here after this ending. So something might happen this week, or it may have already happened because these energies, the time frames are fluid it may have happened, it may be happening this week, or it could be coming, all right? It sh for many of you, it will be this week where there is some kind of completion that leads to something new, okay? Because we have this new partnership right here. Something new and exciting that could bring some balance back, okay? But the thing is, is you've been really stuck. You've really been feeling like you are a victim and feeling, I think a lot of you have been imprisoned with some kind of obsession, okay? It's really been keeping you stuck. Um, and perhaps this week you finally decide, you know what? It's time for me to start over. It's time for me to take a new path. You know, it's it's time for me to have this new beginning because... I haven't received the um, attention, okay? It doesn't look like you've received the attention that you were desiring. Um, and I see, you know, maybe you you were trying to look at things from a new perspective, and um, maybe you still are trying to look at things from a new perspective, and that's why you, this is finally happening this week. You're, maybe you're finally deciding to let something go that has been causing you a lot of despair, because the fact of the matter is, you're really looking for love. You're really looking for love. You're looking for happiness. You're looking for contentness, you know, and I think, or contentment. And I think that you have been fighting a battle that 
doesn't really need to be fought. You know, you've been fighting a battle that um, has no end, okay? A never-ending battle. And it's time to do the right thing for you. It's really time to do the right thing for you, Libra. Um, that's, why the, that's why the card is here. That's why the Justice card is here, because you are being told to seriously, it is time to do the right thing for you. You have to be honest with yourself. I think that a lot of you have been in a karmic situation, okay, and it's time to make something final. I think there's been this weight, this heaviness that has been holding you down, keeping you imprisoned, keeping you stuck in a situation that perhaps you've been obsessed with. This is obsession, okay? And it's regarding love. And the thing is, is there's nothing wrong with that, so don't take this the wrong way. There is nothing wrong with that because... When you love Libra, you love with all your heart. You give it your all. You are like, you're, you're ruled by Venus, the ruler of love. So when you love, you love. And, you know, it's it's the truth. And that is the truth of the situation. Um, and I think, you know, you've had a lot of inner strife because of your deep, deep love for someone but I think that this week or you could have already done it or it could be coming but it looks like this week for many of you you may decide that it's time to start new okay it's time for a fresh start it is time to start new and to free yourself because you do have the ability to free yourself from this obsession okay and if it's not you that upset that's obsessed somebody else is obsessed with you Okay, but you have the power to free yourself from this obsession and to take a risk and to leap into the unknown. Okay, um, you do have new growth here. You do. Um, so far, who do we have for signs? We have you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what we have. I have to tell you, there's not very much major. There's not. What, where's the major? The only the, the, the fool and uh, justice are the only major arcana cards in this poll. That tells me that this is all driven by you, okay? Because this isn't, this isn't, I mean, yes, there is karma here because justice is the karma card, all right? So there is karma here, but this is, this, this there, the universe isn't going to come in and fix this for you. This is all driven by you. Okay, when we have more minor cards, it means that this is in your hands. The fate is in your hands. It is seriously time for you to jump into the unknown. Okay, to take a leap, to fly, to take a risk. Because something has ended and it's caused you too much despair. Okay, it has. And you deserve love. You deserve to be loved. Okay, <coughs> I think that, you know, there could be a new relationship with um, a lot of happiness in your future once you choose to make something final. You have to make something final before that can happen. You have to stop fighting this never-ending battle, okay? It's almost like there's a rebirth, okay? It's like that you are about to, to start fresh and start new. And I feel like you are just finally like, you know what? It's time for me. It's my time. Time for me to go. It's time for me. I matter. Now, the Ace of Cups also says pay attention to your dreams. They might be trying to tell you something. You could be having vivid dreams at this time. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, those are both gifts from above, okay? Those are gifts from above. They're, they're opportunities for new growth, a new growth in love and a new growth, a new partner, all right? A new partner, completely new, all right? Hence the word new. And here we are. I think a lot of you have been seeking guidance, perhaps from a counselor or somebody that you deeply trust, or maybe even your inner guide or somebody from above 
this is seeking guidance and I think that you are getting the answers they may be coming through your dreams all right I think you're you're receiving some guidance from somewhere that is helping you to rebalance out your life and to make um, balanced decisions the two of cups this is the Lord of love in regards to love and it's right over this. This is the basis of your reading, the Ten of Swords. I think that many of you are letting go of a situation that was holding you back. And it has to do with love. You know, you're letting go of a situation that did not um, pan out. Because you're looking for that, that union with somebody. You have this deep, deep desire for a union. Um and a partnership and if you stay stuck in a situation that isn't panning out you can't get there because there's been too much tension and strife someplace else in love it's time it's time for you to fly princess of cups again the page of cups there is new love around the corner for you that's what this card says, connected to this one, which could lead to a lot of happiness. But the caveat is, justice is you. It's all up to you. This can go on forever. Should you choose to continue to carry the heaviness? Should you choose not to move forward? Should you choose not to make a decision? Should you choose not to move forward? Okay? You have to do the right thing for yourself, okay? You have to be honest. You have to make a choice, and it is time to seek balance. That's what the justice is about. So this stuff down here, this love, doesn't happen until you make something final. That card is about finality. Three of Wands judgment and the universe the world card three of wands this is about expectation it's about things finally coming finally new growth a new partnership that could finally come all right that's what that card is about it's also about communication. We have communication a couple times. All right. So I'm thinking, you know, you could receive some communication from somebody that um, you've been expecting. You've been expecting communication from somebody. But I don't think that it's the communication that you're looking for. I don't because we have this Ten of Swords. That's the basis of your reading. Something is over. Something is ending. And the thing is, is when the you, you this is the world card, it says the universe. When this card comes out, it means one big, huge chapter in your life is ending. It means you've learned a big, big lesson. And that is the, when you make something final, You when you finally accept the karmic debt and you make something final, that's when the lesson is learned and that's when you start your new chapter which leads to love which is right above this okay but you you are you must acknowledge it this is the awakening where you where you do acknowledge it this is your wake up call your breakthrough where you acknowledge the truth okay i i see that there is new love for you but it could be a while because it's all in your hands it is in your hands. All right. Um, but with the world card right here, it tells me that you have a beautiful new chapter ahead of you. This week, it is up to you to make something final. Something is over and the, and the ball is in your court.
It's about time for you to start a new chapter. That's what they want. They want, this is the outcome, should you choose to make something final. This is the outcome, a brand new chapter where you can celebrate success of a hard lesson learned. A karmic lesson, a check mark off your list. Of lessons. Because I see that you've been fighting a never-ending battle. And it's caused you a lot of despair and stress. And it's affected your love life in a very big way. It's like you're, you're not getting the love that you desire. Because you've been stuck in a situation that's going nowhere. And you've been fighting and fighting and fighting for it. And it just seems like it's time to make it final. And it's, it's over. It's time to, to end it for good this week. That's what it looks like. Receive with love and appreciation. This card jumped out. <laughs> I'm going to zoom it in. <laughs> it is a number 34. Receiving something lovely from others is a way of showing love. Receive, receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. A simple consideration is to be courteous when someone is trying to give us something. The angels encourage us to be able to graciously receive as an act of kindness. Allow someone the opportunity to express love by accepting what someone wants to do or give to you. So Libra, you may have somebody who wants to give you love right now, but you're still stuck in a situation so you're not accepting it. You may want to consider it. Your first step is to remove yourself from the situation that you are stuck in. Talk to you later.